Hello and welcome to your third WX Python tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how to add a menu bar and buttons on that bar and then items to that button. So in this case, you've got this is the menu bar. You've got all these buttons on the menu bar like help, run, options, file. And then when you click one of the buttons, you see you have all these options to choose from. Um, so in our scenario, what we're going to do is we're going to add a file button and then an uh, exit item to that file button. So with that, let's hop right on in. This is where we left off. Now I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. And we're just going to say, um, let me get rid of this. We're not going to use size. And then in here, and then the corresponding, what we're just going to say is, uh, we'll just put our, like literally args and quargs. And if you don't know what args and quargs are, args is just arguments, and then quargs is keyword arguments. Um, but for now, we're just going to like literally just type these in here and just leave them. Oops, quarks. Now, the next thing we're going to do, this is just, we just define the initiation, basically. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is, let's get rid of all this, and we're going to say self dot uh, basic uh, GUI. So we're going to start allowing a graphical user interface, right? So now, now that we've done that, obviously we need to define uh, this basic GUI. So we'll define basic GUI and then in the uh, parameters self colon. Now what we want to do, the first thing that we're going to need to do is define a menu bar um, object basically. So we'll just we'll call it menu bar equals and then the definition for this basically is WX dot M menu bar and then we'll have no parameters. Now once you've done that, the next thing we need to do is start to define this file button. Like so here we've got file, so now we need to like, start to create that. So file button equals wx.menu, so it's just meaning it's going to go to the menu. Then um, the next thing we want to do is let's start the definition for the exit item that we want. So we're going to literally just call that exit item equals file button dot append so you're appending um, some rules that will apply for this file item to the this so like when we click it so you'll understand more in a second but we're going to append it to it um, so we're appending the menu item to the menu itself right and what we're going to do is wx dot id underscore exit oops it's all caps and then you specify what the title of that uh, button is going to be. And in this case, since it's an exit, we're going to call it exit. And then finally, uh, this is like a, a status bar mention, or uh, what it's going to say on the status bar. Let's see if we have one here. See, even this Python window doesn't have a status bar. Um, let me pause this and let me open up something that does have a status bar. Okay, I literally can't find any program of mine that has a status bar on it, but um, we'll get to the point where we implement a status bar. Basically right here is a status bar, like this gray area. So when you go to file and you hover over exit, it'll say like exit the program down here. Um, so you can just be like, I'm just going to write in here status message, right? <laughs> like that's just what it is. But right now we're not going to see that at all because we don't even have a status bar. But later on when we do have the status bar, uh, we'll need it. So now we're going to append the menu item to the menu itself, like I was saying before. So we have menu bar. So this is just talking about menu bar. Now what we want to do is append the file button to that menu bar. Like this is the file button. We want to append that file button to the menu bar. So a menu bar dot append. And then you're going to append obviously file button. And then you give the name of that file button. Like we just give the name of this uh, exit button. Same thing with file button. You can do file. Um, another little cool trick that you can do uh, later on, it doesn't really work for me, but it'll, depending on like who's running the program and stuff, you can put like this and sign here. And what that'll do is, um, like I can't do it here. Like if I do control, um, it'll, it basically it will allow you to do short keys. So like if you're on, I, I think like Safari, or not Safari, sorry. Um, like Macs and stuff, like you can do this. So it'll make like a short key. 
So you could do like a short key and it'll pull down F. So it like will underline the first letter of F. So if you're on like one of those operating systems, then go ahead. But at least for me, it doesn't really work. So anyway, that's the name of the um, the button. Um, then the next thing we want to do is um, we want to set the menu bar. So like right now, we've only defined the menu bar, and like we've said, okay, the menu bar is a menu bar, right? Um, but we've not actually like called it to action or anything. So now what we want to do is self dot set menu bar and then you define what you want the menu bar to be which is menu bar and it just so happens that menu bar is indeed a menu bar type so that's good now what we want to do is bind an event to uh, or an event handler to when someone clicks um, that exit like what do we want it to do so in this case what we're going to want to do is self.bind and we want to bind wx event menu menu and then we want it to do uh, self.quit when it's clicked and what item do we want that to be we want that to be exit item now we haven't defined self.quit so now we need uh, to define or we haven't defined quit rather not self.quit uh, so now we need to define what happens on quit um, but also while we're here before we do that let's go ahead and do self dot set title and you can call this anything before we called it um, like we set it down here but we're going to change all this in a second so I'm just going to delete that bottom part self dot title and then we'll just say it's an epic window um, then we'll do self dot show Oops, make sure you use a capital show and then we'll just put it true in here and then now let's define quit. So define quit, quite quit self e. Now you just do self dot close. And so now you've defined what you want to do um, on close, basically, or on that click. What is it going to do? It's going to refer to this uh, function of quit. Then what's that do? It just self dot close. Next. And the other thing you can do, like uh, maybe later on we'll add to it, if someone clicks that, you could later on have a message pop up that does like one of those, like, are you sure? And um, so you can kind of define like the quitting process under here. So like right now all it does is close, but later on you can do some more uh, interesting stuff. So finally, uh, we'll come down here, define main, and as always, you have to have app equals something, or well really you can call app whatever you want, but you eventually need to have it be equal to wx.app and then um, we'll define window class and in here we're gonna put none and again that just means that it has no parent like it is the parent and then finally app dot main loop and then last but not least we'll run main and uh, let's see if we made any typos along the way run okay did not make any typos here is our window and as you can see we've got a file and when you click on file we have an exit option and when we click exit it exits and that's it for the program so still obviously very very basic but just like before even with just like the window um, all of these things what's really nice is it's really an API right it's a Windows API where you can use Python programming and like Python I guess um, logic and setting up you know that you're familiar with to code Windows stuff because honestly like just making a file button that does things like has the hover option and when you click it it opens up and when you hit exit it exits. I mean that's a lot of coding and to be honest we did it really quickly so um, even though this is really basic stuff so far there are some really cool things that we will continue showing you but I just want it to be clear like um, how awesome this really is because there's a lot of coding that goes on behind the scenes uh, with this because again this is just like a wrapper over really C++ so anyway um, that's it with the exit button and stay tuned for more videos thanks for watching